Hello everybody, my name is Leonard and welcome to another one of my Pokemon card videos. As being an avid card collector ever since the inception of Pokemon back in the 90s, I have been adamant about protecting cards. And I can't stress it enough, if you want your cards to be worth a lot in the future, you gotta protect them. And whether or not you just want to have your cards in great condition to play with for years to come, I can't stress enough how much it is important to put your cards in good condition for the future. So, I thought it would be only proper that I do a video on how to actually protect your Pokemon cards. And this actually goes for basically any type of card uh, that you want to protect. But, 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 I, after years of getting different types of protection sleeves or top loaders, I basically have found what I personally think is the best so you, the community, can protect your Pokemon cards. And I'm going to go through several ways that you can protect your cards that I personally think are the best ways. Now, are they the only ways? No, there's plenty of other ways, but I personally think this is the way that they should be protected, especially being a pro uh, protecting my cards ever since the 90s and I've been grading them and they've been coming back pretty good grades so we're gonna go get we're gonna go ahead and get started now what you see on the screen right now is a lovely Magikarp now for all you asking how am I gonna protect such an incredibly important card that is a Magikarp well I believe that this is one of the best ways, or at least one of the first ways you can protect it. This is a sleeve. And what do you do with a basic sleeve? Well, you put the card into it. And what I like about this specific sleeve, it's from Perfect Fit Sleeves. Yes, that's perfectfitsleeves.com. And I personally think these are the best. Now, you can go to Walmart and get theirs, however, they're not even close to as good quality as these ones, and I'll tell you why. One, these are acidic free, and they're actually tougher than the ones from Walmart or Target or wherever else you want to get. Three, they actually are a perfect fit. Now, I went ahead and put it in this Mega Inferos EX right here. And this is the same sleeve, but just in a Mega Inferos EX. And as you can see, it pretty much perfectly fits it. It's really tight and snug, so it doesn't actually move around. And I highly suggest, if you're just getting some basic cards, like a Magikarp or something, uh, I know you want to really put a Magikarp in one of the sleeves and stuff, but for your little bit nicer cards, this is the first way to protect your cards, is get a sleeve, a typical sleeve like this, and put it, such as your Mega Enforce EXs or anything else, even your Magikarps, you can put it in a sleeve like this. And the next step, which I actually think this is one of the best, like one of the best ones, it's very clever too from Perfect Fit Sleeves, is you can actually put um, a basic card like the Magikarp, let me actually get it, you can put the basic card like the Magikarp in this sleeve. Now, you're asking me why it just looks like another inner sleeve, like the Mega Inferno's one. No, it's not. It actually has uh, a little cover that falls down over the card, and it, like you peel off this thing, and it tapes off, and it puts it on it, and it's an even more perfect fit. So I went ahead and did it for this Charizard EX right here. Ooh, it's so shiny! And... The same part right here that folds over is right here. Now you can barely see it. You can see it, but you can barely see it. And I find this way, this is the second best way to protect a single card because it gets rid of basically all the air. It's a pretty sturdy sleeve as well. Uh, a lot better, sturdier than a lot of the other ones I've seen. And it just gets rid of the air, and air is basically the number one thing. Air and sunlight, that dang sun, are the, basically the things that pretty much can damage your cards uh, the most. And now, for the third step. Now, I personally don't have a top loader on me. But a top loader, I'll put a picture on the screen right now. There it is. Yeah, a top loader is just, you slide such as the ultimate way is to put your single card in one of these sleeves that uh, seal up. You put it in the hard top loader by sliding it in. 
and then you get one of these sleeves that also seals up as you can see just like this inner sleeve right here you put the top loader inside this with your card in the top loader that is and this is extra protection not only for your card but for the top loader itself it keeps the top loader in perfect condition no scratches no uh, finger part fingerprints or anything like that it keeps it in even better condition in that the fact that it seals it actually gets rid of the air even more so that's an extra layer of protection but now you're asking me Leonhard, is there an, an even better way to protect your cards yes there is I actually did a video on my PSA graded cards and this lovely Chansey first edition from base at mind you is a PSA uh, professional sports authenticator graded card I personally believe PSA is the number one place if you want to get your cards graded if you want to learn more about getting your cards graded see my PSA graded video or just leave a comment in the section below or message me I'd love to answer your questions about it you get your cards graded it, be, it basically is in the ultimate seal ever. Ooh, PSA. And you can, it's hard. It protects it from the sun, the air, anything it protects it from. Even your little baby kid brother or sister. Yes, it protects it from them as well. But I think personally one of the best things you can do is to get an actual sleeve that seals up from perfect fit sleeves. Um, is basically the one that I found is the best fit. Now there are several other ones out there, or not really too many. I've only found like one or two other ones, and they were pretty paltry, I had to say, because when you put it actually inside the case, and you want to protect these cases because the case is very important, especially for keeping that grade up, or at least if you want to sell them or collect them, you don't want to get one that's all scratchy and stuff. It just looks horrible, and it actually does lose value when you do that. So you want to put those in a sleeve. It protects the case, it protects the card, it protects basically everything. You can seal it up. And the final thing is that it looks like this with this nice ancient Mew. Ooh, shiny too. And as you can see on this one, it seals up. You can barely see that it seals up, but it's a very, very snug fit. That's what I think is the best about these perfect fit sleeves other than the other ones is it actually fits perfectly in these. So it doesn't crinkle up, it doesn't lose its look, because you want these babies to look amazing for all your family and friends, especially uh, as an avid collector myself, you want these to look nice. Um, now for your cards, other than your uh, magic cards here, now when you, you always, when you open booster packs and stuff, you always just get countless amounts of cards, code cards, uh, tons of stuff. Um, my thing to best protect those is, if you don't have like a shoe box or some type of other container, here's a basically just one of those, uh, 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 I'm completely blanking out, but you get this uh, thing from a thing. You get this and it comes with like four booster packs and stuff. But what do you do with all that extra space? Well, I'll show you. I'm gonna move the camera now. As you can see here, you can put all your cards in there. They're also nice and snug. Hey, it's Venusaur. They're very nice and snug. And one of the things that you want with these is you don't want them to move around too much. You want it to be nice and snug. Now, these are just your basics and uncommons and stuff. You can basically put any card you want to put in there. But I found you seal these up, and that does a great job of protecting your basic cards. I mean, your common and uncommon cards and your code cards and whatever other cards you want. But that is basically the best ways to protect your cards i really you really want to protect these guys especially for the long run um you put you got to put all these sleeves on them and i guarantee you your cards will remain in incredible condition to show your kids and grandkids or if you just want to sell them for an extra buck well i hope you enjoyed this video magic art take it away carp carp all right, Magikarp, don't take it away. My name is Leonard, and until next time, I'll say y'all in the next video.